Uh, it's nice to be here. I don't know how many other Colorado natives are out here tonight. Yeah? It's not been easy for us, has it? Since the invasion? <laughs> it's been pretty brutal, hasn't it? I mean, I'm originally from Kansas, but I put one of those native stickers on my car. I understand the struggle. <laughs> It's confusing to people. I'd say about uh, maybe three weeks ago at a gas station, a gentleman stopped me and goes, Kansas Plates, native sticker. Did you move and come back? No. It's a sticker. That's it. <laughs> I don't know how you obtained yours, but they didn't check my ID when they sold me the thing <laughs> at the souvenir shop. <laughs> also, while we're talking about the piece of art that is the back of my bumper, I also don't have anything on board. <laughs> now, I moved here two years ago like everybody else in the world. <laughs> Most people think it was for marijuana, uh, including my father-in-law, who two weeks ago called me on the phone and said, I quote verbatim, Are you making any money out there in Denver, or are you just hanging with your buddies in a tough shit doing doobies? <laughs> so, did you just say doing doobies? Because that might be the most adorable thing I've ever heard come out of a 67-year-old man's mouth. Doing doobies? Are you serious? Also, what's a tough shit? Because <laughs> I don't think we have one of those. We have a disheveled shit that my roommate smokes a lot of pot in. We just call that our home. <laughs> Not a lot of square footage out here for the uh, affordability, is there? Another thing that changed. When I moved out here, this guy goes, I got a place super affordable. And I said, how many square feet? And he goes, whoa, whoa, whoa. You mean foot? <laughs> I was like, perfect. Uh, <laughs> I have the anxiety. Uh, that's something that I have. I brought out here with me. Uh, one of my roommates is, yeah, you know, I don't know if you know that. You don't just get it here. But you can bring it everywhere. You do have medications that make it a lot worse. But uh, one of my roommates was like, you're all wound up all the time. You should take pills. And I was like, yeah, I think that's because you sell pills. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know. What that has, like, what does your financial gain have to do with my mental health? Can you explain that to me? And he goes, well, if you, if you took pills, we could go out in public and not potentially have a scene. Who doesn't like a scene? <laughs> have you ever seen some and been like, wish I wouldn't have seen that? Well, I mean, we all have, but I mean, come on. <laughs> what would this be if we couldn't see it? It'd be radio. <laughs> we wouldn't be seeing it. You'd be hearing it. And who doesn't want to see this? Look at that face. What a mustache. <laughs> so yeah, that's how it happens. I was like, I don't understand. And he goes, just do it. He goes, well, if you don't want to take pills, maybe you could just smoke pot. Oh, yeah, with a head full of anxiety. What could go wrong there, you back alley pharmacist? <laughs> to which he says, oh, but smoking pot's fun. I was like, oh, to everybody. You've done all the research. <laughs> right, because I'll be the first one to tell you fine people and everyone watching right now, there's nothing more fun than sitting around with all your buddies doing doobies. <laughs> right, just burning them up and then all of a sudden realizing, oh boy, my friends aren't here. This stuff's laced. I'm going to die now. That's what's going to happen to me. Why is my heart moving so fast? Seriously, what did I smoke? A tire? Why am I sweating? I'm missing a shoe. I had both of them on before this started. This is seriously an issue. Is there anyone out there? What am I looking at? Is that a cat? Don't own a cat. Where am I? Seriously. I should call my mom because I'm going to die. I know that. I'm dead. I should clear my browser history if I'm going to be talking to my mom. Oh, God. What is going on? I should. This carpet needs to be mowed. That is dead. Definitely a thing. They're danger. Maybe I'll just lay in the bathtub and sleep this off. Better check the closet. The mailman might be in there spying on me. <laughs> we wouldn't want to do that every weekend. Right? And I'm not against drugs. I mean, look at me. If you don't obtain this point of view, living your life, entire life saying no, that'd be weird. You know, I took acid once for about six years. I know the appeal. So, I think that's where I'm going to leave you, fine people. You've been a lot of fun. Thank you so much. Woo!